Percy Bumstead, ready to say it all for the last time. What will you be talking about in your speech, hopefully? My speech, hopefully? It's a good question. I would say, just talking about this year, I've been thinking a lot about the sacrifices that come with success. You know, like nothing comes for free. And I've reflected a lot over the years of how much of my mental peace I've had to sacrifice to accomplish what I've accomplished. And it's just been a lot of like waking up at 5 a.m., going through the day, wake up, weigh myself, weigh my food, do my check-ins in the mirror, like go to the gym, work out, what's wrong? Everything is like, am I good enough? Am I being enough? Am I doing enough to win the Olympia right now? It's all just compared to being Mr. Olympia to that level of success. And, you know, people talk about what you sacrifice to be great at things. And they're normally like, you don't get to go hang out with your friends. You don't get to go party, go uh, go do these things. But I think for me, the biggest sacrifice has just been the, the, my, my, my mental peace. So the goal this year has been trying to find that, maintain it, have the mental peace while also thriving at a high level and seeing how I can do that as, as efficiently as possible. And you know, I'd like to be able to say I did so successfully. Um, yeah, it's with... I think a lot of people know what's coming tonight, and it's with a really bittersweet feeling that this is going to be my last time up on the stage. The past eight years up here have been the most amazing journey of my life, and I wouldn't change a thing. I really hope I've, I hope I've set the standard. You know, I hope I've done that in a way where people are inspired to take up their own things, and I've, I've tried to share what was truly important to me on this journey. I've talked about you know, feeling the highs, feeling the lows, feeling it all. If you numb the bad, you numb the good. Doing the hard shit, all that stuff. But the hard shit's not about showing up in the gym, working out hard. It's the stuff that's actually hard to you. It's the stuff that you don't want to do, whether it's going up to your wife, telling her you're having a hard day and that you need a hug and you just being vulnerable enough, vulnerable enough to cry in front of her, telling your friend you love them or walking away from something that you love because you know there's, you have faith that there's something greater for you beyond the horizon. And you know, I've put myself out there and I, I've sacrificed a lot over the past few years and a lot of that's been mental peace. You know, I put a lot of pressure and expectation on myself and it's been rewarded and I'm so grateful, but I'm ready to step down from this and let someone take this spot. And I've learned the most beautiful thing that when you get handed everything you ever wanted, that sometimes it's the simplest things right in front of you, like your family, the people who love you, the small moments in between, that means so much more. So what happens next? What next in life? take it year by year and we see you know i've been saying i think 2019 was the year i finished won the olympia went home and i was like i'm done i'm retiring and that, that was the year i was i was over it i was done in 2018 i almost done and then 2019 i'm like fuck it i'm gonna go win one i won one came back all i felt was relief i didn't enjoy it as much as i thought i still was getting a little sick from my autoimmune i didn't know how to manage my health properly back then and it was just so much stress about my health because of 2018 when i was in the hospital for my autoimmune that i was like this isn't worth it to me i'm not doing this anymore and ever since then i've been like if i do one more then i'm lucky to do one more and i'm going to take it one year at a time and so every year i've been grateful enough to be able to do one more at a time if my health has gotten better every single year and you know, every year I find that drive and that excitement behind that pressure to be better and better, and I'm still enjoying it. I haven't sacrificed anything beyond my values and my truth, so I'm here doing my best. Chris Bumstead leaves as a champion, not just in titles, but in legacy. The end of one chapter, the beginning of another. <laughs>